18, 16 minutes after 8 o'clock here in New York City, transcripts just released this week with testimony from the firm behind that anti-Trump dossier. Fusion GPS founder Glenn Simpson revealing they found the FBI reopening the Hillary uh, email case concerning, so much so that Christopher Steele reached out to the FBI. Here with his take is author of Clinton Cash, Peter Schweizer. Peter, good morning to you. Hey, good morning. So, you know, uh, during the testimony, that, uh, thanks to Diane Feinstein, she uh, just uh, leaked out to everybody, even though parts of it were redacted so much for transparency. Uh, the Fusion people try to present themselves as just disinterested, essentially nonpartisans. But that's not the case, is it? No, that's exactly right. And I think what this testimony shows, Steve, is that, you know, they're not the research firm they led on, which is essentially that all they were interested in doing was, you know, concerns about Trump and Russia ties. Uh, they were actually upset that the FBI reopened the Hillary Clinton email case. Um, and, and so much so that they even suspended cooperating with the FBI, according to Glenn Simpson's testimony. Uh, you know, my point would be that has nothing to do with this research area you say you're so interested interested in. And I think it's just further confirmation that the purpose of Fusion GPS was not just fact sharing or right. passing along this, this, this dossier. There were other parts of their agenda as well. Well, and part of it is it, when you're doing opposition research, the, the way it works is you find some dirt or in this case, maybe you make up a bunch of stuff because you're getting paid for it by the by the pound, apparently. Uh, you, you present a dossier to your candidate. OK, here's the stuff. Here's the dirt on my person. Right. And if the candidate doesn't use it, you pass it to the press and the press is going to run with it if they can verify it. And that's been the problem. Couldn't verify it. Yeah, that's exactly right. And look, I mean, Glenn Simpson, in his testimony that was just released, he talks about the fact that what Fusion GPS does, Steve, is collect public open source information and connect dots. Right. Well, I kind of do the same thing as a journalist. The problem is the Trump dossier, the Steele dossier, has absolutely no public source information in it. Uh, and, Steele, and, and, and Simpson even says in his testimony that they didn't even try to verify it independently. So to me, this has all all the markings, of, frankly, of political dirty tricks rather than any kind of serious research effort. I could never imagine putting together a salacious uh, dossier on someone based totally on second or third hand, you know, sure. anonymous accounts and then not even trying to verify it. So, you know, it just it just further shows that this, I think, was a dirty tricks operation more than it was some fact finding operation by Fusion GPS. And Peter, I'm sure you heard Sarah Carter, the investigative reporter. Uh, say earlier this week that apparently the dossier, which was largely completely unverified and untrue at this point, was used in part to get a FISA warrant to spy on the Trumps. So if that is true, where opposition research from one political campaign was used to launch a federal investigation, essentially, into your opponent, this would stack very high in the list of uh, greatest political scandals of all time. <laughs> it, it would. I mean, it's really uh, the ultimate dirty trick, because not only did they use this dossier to leak to media outlets right. uh, that Trump had all these vulnerabilities with the Russians, they also triggered an FBI investigation, yeah. which they also leaked to the press. It's something, but it sounds like a lot of the dots are being connected. I think someday we'll know what happened. Uh, if you want to know about the Clinton Foundation, he wrote a great book. It's called Clinton Cash. Peter Schweizer from down in Tallahassee today. Thank you very much.